Well, good afternoon, Sibford School. It's nearly four o'clock. It's Friday, the 27th of March, 2020. It's a very lovely late March afternoon. Sun is shining, bit of wind. Uh, I'm speaking to you from just next door to the Peace Garden out in the horticulture area. Seems an appropriate place to, to talk to you from at this particularly unusual time. I'm sorry I can't be speaking to you in person. It's the end of term. Happy Easter uh, to everybody. Um, as far as you can, I hope you're able to get a good break. And I realise the circumstances are, are very, very unusual. We have been educating for a short while now in, in virtual form. Um, and I'm very grateful um, to the community here, to the, the teachers, the staff here at Sibford School, for number one, keeping the school going in, in unusual circumstances, but also the great dedication and care in terms of looking after you um, to make sure that your education has managed to continue as best we possibly can at this particularly trying time. These teachers and, and members of staff here often have their own loved ones, young families, dependents, elderly relatives sometimes, and they've got a lot on their plate, and yet I really feel um, very, very proud as the head teacher of the school that my, my colleagues have supported you incredibly well, and as I say, I'm very grateful. Beyond that, I think the sense of community here is one which has really been reinforced by what has happened over the last 10 to 14 days or so. Um, the sense of spirit and community resilience here is very strong indeed. Uh, the team have pulled together, both locally at the school, but also reaching out further afield. We've looked after a few families of key worker children, and we're looking, asking the question about how we might do even more in the community. We're part of a Sibford support group. Um, that's a local group, uh, and the, many of these groups are springing up around and about, and perhaps you can look and see what else is going on and whether or not you'll be able to support in any, any shape or form. And from yourselves as well, I've been very, very grateful and very touched by the, the, the comments both from pupils but also from your parents and guardians and people close to you as they've supported the school and your education at this very difficult time. As I say, I'm hugely grateful. Um, it's a concerning time. It's a concerning time for everybody and I don't think we can beat around the bush. Um, I speak to a lot of head teachers. I'm fortunate to have other head teachers I can communicate with on a regular basis. And I think we're all agreed that uh, none of us were quite prepared for this. I don't think anybody's been quite prepared for the circumstances we find ourselves in. And so we are, you know, we're finding our way. We're finding our way as best we can at this very, very difficult time. And to the youngsters out there, to the pupils, you know, and those of you who are uh, at an uncertain time, it's okay, um, I would want to say, to be concerned, to be worried, to be uncertain. And I would really encourage you to reach out and talk to those close to you, those, you know, your loved ones. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to do that face to face, um, but possibly you'll do that in virtual form. Keep in touch and do talk things through. So although it is the start of what is um, the Easter holidays and staff here um, quite rightly will have a rest, um, we haven't abandoned you, we haven't forgotten about you, we are still here, the school remains. Um, it'll be open in some shape or form, although teachers will be um, having a break over the Easter holidays, but there still will be a lot going on. But as, you know, as, as youngsters yourselves, make sure you, you're finding those sources of support and talking to the right people at what can be a tricky time. You know, we all have a responsibility here, and, and some of my final meetings of the term, I talked about responsibility, your civic responsibility, sort of right, you know, standing up um, and being, being heard and making sure your voice is heard. And you can do that in all sorts of ways, taking responsibility around the house, um, taking responsibility for um, your siblings, if you have them, for others, and making sure that you are um, look, doing your best at what is a, a particularly tricky time. Um, on behalf of the parents here, of which I'm one, um, we're all facing a time of uncertainty, and um, the support of our youngsters and helping guide them and support them, but also reaching out to them for support, I think is also very important at this time. So the pupils of Sibford School, I'll just be putting to you the question, what can you do? Um, how are you looking after mums, dads, playing your role? Um, that can be a tricky time, whilst looking for support for yourself, of course, as well. So the school is, um, well, you can listen, it's a little bit windy at the moment, but uh, it's a very peaceful and calm day. Uh, quite serene, really, in many respects, very typically Sibford. Um, Dave Candy is here. Um, he's able to work because he's by himself. He's not coming close to anybody. So he, he's asked me whether he can work. And I've said that's fine as long as he looks after himself and makes sure he has a phone number to call somebody if there's any problem. So Dave has been doing typically, you know, wonderful work around the school ground. The grounds are looking fabulous. It's been sad, I think, in some respects because um, rugby posts have come down. The markings are still there. 
Um, but I was very sorry that events like the Rugby Sevens, as much as many other school events, you know, we had Quaker Choirs coming up, the ski trip was coming up, we had the Gold Duke of Edinburgh. Um, and what a shame that those have had to be cancelled. Actually, when I came past the school hall just a few moments ago, um, there are desks laid out um, for exams um, alongside the backdrop of Les Miserables. And, um, you know, that was a very, very special moment. And the Les Miserables, I say, perhaps less so the exams. Um, but a really, really special moment. And I think if there are small, you know, positives here, and they are only small ones perhaps now, um, it was the fact that we were able to have that wonderful school performance, you know, that some of the Rugby Sevens did take place. And I know that um, some of the older pupils will still be frustrated that they didn't manage to get involved with that. And there'll be lots of frustrations. Um, but, you know, I guess the overall picture is one that school is here. You know, we have a small staff um, ticking along, keeping the school running at this particular time. And there will be you know, a lot going on behind the scenes, even though we're at the Easter holidays. So for those of you in exam groups, because I know that, you know, the year 11s and 13s in particular, it's not exclusively those groups, but particularly those groups, you know, I really am feeling for you and your academic teachers and your tutors, you know, have been you know, really upset, I think, um, on behalf of yourselves, on, um, in regard to the fact that you've had that opportunity to shine taken away from you. So we, we really feel that pain and we sympathise hugely with that. Saying that, there's a real resolve. Um, I can see it very clearly. You know, Jill Spence with the you know Year 11, the Key Stage 4 team, Kate Mullally and Needle and Darren and the and the sixth form team are absolutely firm in their resolve, alongside ac academic staff, uh, with the support of our fabulous exams officer Sarah, that we are going to do everything in our power to get you the grades, the fair grades that reflect your endeavours. At this moment, you know, today I can't tell you exactly how that is going to pan out exactly what Ofqual, the, the examinations boards themselves will, we, will be saying but as soon as we know as soon as we have clarity uh, we will be communicating to you and giving you as much reassurance as we can it's clearly not a perfect situation and as a head teacher and educator of many years experience um, I'm very very frustrated and greatly saddened by the circumstances but what I can say with assurance is that we have a really really good team here who know you well and will do everything they can number one to get you the grades that you deserve and to stand by you and to, to, to show whoever we might need to why you deserve the grades that you do, but also to help you um, on your journey, particularly that refle reflects the year 13s. You know you've got a really good team supporting you there, be it a UCAS application, whether you're going into uh, a different pathway, straight into drama, straight into sport, wherever it might be. Well, I can just hear Dave now coming past. We're here to support you, and so when we have more information, we will be getting in touch with you. Um, so please be reassured that we are absolutely on your side. We'll do everything we can to support you into those, into those next steps. So it's Easter, and you know, for many, when we think about Easter stories, um, you will know that Easter time is a time for some of, on one level, great loss, great sadness, worry and concern, and I, I guess that does reflect in part where we are right now. However, I think it's worth reminding ourselves that, that alongside that, um, there are messages of, of love um, and of care, of new life, and perhaps for myself right now, beyond all, um, all feelings, it's that of hope. It's tough at the moment, it's tough for everybody. Uh, and I think, you know, reflecting upon that and taking a moment to stop and to pause uh, and think about what we do next is very important. But don't lose hope of that. Um, you know, we have got hope. It will get better. We will find a way out of this. Um, so although things are tricky just now, and they are very tricky, you know, hold on. Um, keep your wits about you. Let's use common sense. Here at Sidford School, we're really looking forward to seeing you again. Uh, you know, I, I think as a head teacher and an educator, not having the pupils here in the wider community is a tremendous loss. So we are looking forward to seeing you. Look after each other. Take care of yourselves. Um, look after your loved ones around you and we're looking forward to seeing you very soon. Happy Easter, everybody.